They brought down ballistic missiles, destroyed combat aircraft, and decimated drones. Every attempt by Zelensky to strike Russian territory was thwarted. Through unmatched interception tactics, combat strategies, and deceptive maneuvers the military world had never seen before, they inflicted staggering losses, costing the United States and NATO billions of dollars in weapons and ammunition. Since the beginning of the Russia-Ukraine war, thousands of attempts to destroy this system have failed. A terrifying hybrid combining the capabilities of the S-300 series with lethal upgrades, it has become the most widely deployed system on Russia's borders. Its missiles are capable of shooting down even the most advanced stealth aircraft of the fifth generation and can intercept hypersonic missiles with remarkable ease. In this episode of Weapons of War, we bring you a detailed and comprehensive look at Russia's deadly shield, the S-350 Vityaz, and its crucial role in the ongoing war in Ukraine. What is the Vityaz system that reportedly neutralized nearly half of Ukraine's air fleet? Vityaz is one of the crown jewels of modern air defense systems, breaking records that far surpass those of its Western and East Asian counterparts. It's a versatile, multi-role platform capable of targeting threats from the air, land, and sea. It can be integrated with other defense units, independent radar systems, and early warning platforms, or operate autonomously. The diversity of its missiles elevated it from a medium-range defense system to one with long-range capabilities. Vityaz can detect and track up to 80 targets simultaneously and engage with 50 of them at once. It covers a semicircular operational range of up to 140 kilometers and can target threats from as low as 30 meters up to 30,000 meters in altitude, leaving no escape for helicopters, spy planes, supersonic fighters, cruise missiles, or even hypersonic projectiles. Essentially, this system behaves more like a surface-to-air rocket launcher, capable of firing up to 36 missiles in just one minute. Imagine that overwhelming display of firepower and the almost non-existent chance of any aerial target surviving its wrath. So how does Vityaz work? And how did it burn Ukrainian aircraft out of the sky? Vityaz operates using three distinct types of missiles. The nine M100 missiles are short-range interceptors designed for targets within 10 kilometers. They're typically used in ambushes or for taking down drones and enemy aircraft that have entered a controlled zone to better study their structure, especially useful against drones. The 9M96E missiles are medium range, capable of striking targets within 40 kilometers and altitudes up to 26,000 meters. These are the most commonly used in frontline systems near combat zones and are vital in protecting airports, nuclear facilities, military bases, and command centers. The 9M96E2 missiles are the latest and deadliest variant. These are what give Vityaz its fearsome reputation. With a range of up to 145 kilometers and the ability to reach altitudes of 30,000 meters, they fly at speeds of Mach 8, nearly 9,700 kilometers per hour. At such velocity, they can intercept ultra-fast ballistic and hypersonic missiles with ease. All S-350 missiles share advanced features like multiple target tracking technologies, including active radar guidance, infrared tracking, and optical targeting. They are nearly impervious to electronic jamming. Russian reports state that the E-2 variant is unaffected by electromagnetic or radiation-based interference, maintaining accuracy even under the harshest battlefield conditions and against even the most modern stealth aircraft. An impenetrable fortress. Vityaz is supported by a central radar station using advanced dual-phase array scanning technology, offering 360-degree coverage with a detection range of up to 350 kilometers. This effectively turns the system into an early warning network, preparing the crew, silos, and missile launchers for immediate engagement upon detecting any aerial threat. Its radar isn't just defensive, it's an offensive weapon in itself. It uses cutting-edge jamming technologies to mask its location from enemy aircraft and early warning planes. Moreover, it can disrupt radars on third and fourth generation fighter jets, giving Russian aircraft a clear tactical advantage. Vityaz can distinguish between real and fake radar signals and will reject any wave that doesn't carry its unique encryption signature. Even if an enemy aircraft manages to mimic the radar frequency, 
Without the correct decryption key, its signal is simply ignored. This technology isn't exclusive to Russia, but according to Russian sources, their version is the most effective and the most resistant to deception and jamming attempts. VDAZ's control systems are also integrated with broader radar networks that span up to 4,000 kilometers and are compatible with ground-based tracking systems, civilian and military airport radars, and even platforms used in the S-300 and S-400 systems. The goal of this unification is to create a seamless, national-scale defense shield that blankets the vast territory of Russia with real-time data accessible to all air defense units. A closer look at the structure and deployment. A typical Vityaz battalion consists of eight vehicles, all connected via radar links, radio waves, and satellite communications. These vehicles can be deployed across an area of 4,000 square kilometers, and each one can operate independently at speeds up to 70 kilometers per hour. A central command vehicle monitors and coordinates their positions. The battalion is composed of a command and control vehicle, a radar and communications vehicle, a maintenance and technical support vehicle, and five missile launcher vehicles. These can carry between 48 and 96 missiles, all of which can be launched in multiple directions against up to 50 different targets in under a minute, creating a high-precision, three-dimensional dome of protection. Each vehicle is equipped with an independent power unit that can keep the system operational for 12 continuous days without needing to start the main engine. This ensures the system remains active 24-7, even in the event of engine failure or power depletion. Operational history. Vityaz entered service with the Russian Army in mid-2019, delivered by the national defense company Almazante. To date, around 24 URI saw 350 units serve in the Russian military, with another six exported to Algeria in late 2020. While it's unclear whether Russia has deployed Vityaz inside the Ukrainian territories it has occupied since the war began, military reports from NATO-aligned sources claim that the system has wreaked havoc on Ukrainian Su-25 aircraft and successfully intercepted all ballistic missile attacks targeting sensitive Russian military sites near the Ukrainian border. So, dear viewer, have you heard of the S-350 Vityaz before? And what do you think about its military and technical capabilities? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.